Hello, welcome back. This is part two to my um, Drawing Warrior Cats Full Bodies series. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first part. If you haven't seen the first part, don't worry. You don't need to watch that to know what's going on in this video. Just know that um, I'm drawing characters, uh, canon characters from the Warrior Cats series. And today's video will be Tiger Star's family. At least, like, at least Pine Star. Okay, so the cats are, that are in this are Pine Star, Leopard Foot, Tiger Star the First, Sasha, Mothwing, Hawk Frost, and Tadpole. I did not do Bramble Star or Tawny Pelt or anything like that because I have a whole other like family side for Golden Flower, which I will do them in, and then I'll do like a Bramble Star and Tawny Pelt family video. Um, um, but yeah, also you might notice I have a little sprite now. Um, her name is Vitiligo. She has the condition of Vitiligo. If you don't know what that is, it's basically this condition where the pigment in the fur, I don't know if it's just cats or if it's other animals too, but the pigment in the fur like goes away like over time. So say a black cat can be born as a black kit and die as a completely white cat. I don't know why it happens. I haven't really looked much into it, but I, I definitely should because I do find it very interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, this will be my little sprite. So I hope you enjoy the video. The first cat we have um, is Pine Star, and I love Pine Star. He is literally one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Um, his novella is my favorite. Um, I just find him very relatable, I guess. Um, I saw him as big and tough when I was first sketching him out, but then I was like, mm, I feel like this doesn't really fit. So then I made him more like shy and anxious kind of. Um, I really struggled with the, with his design. I um, maybe we'll actually see that'll pop up um, the first design that I made for him, which was before I read Pine Star's Choice, and I quickly read it and was like, nope, this is not how Pine Star looks. <laughs> so I redid him, and this is what that is. Also, the first sketch that you saw um, was my first sketch of Pine Star, and I love the sketch but i didn't want to do that specifically because i feel like that was young pine star but most people see him as like an older kitty pet um but i did end up reusing the sketch and i use it for hawk frost so you will see that then um but i also i gave him a collar and i made him the reddish brown as much as i could <laughs> but uh yeah i also gave him lots of hearts on his belt The next cat is Leopardfoot. I will admit, Leopardfoot isn't my favorite character. I don't know how popular that is or how well that will <laughs> translate to the rest of the fandom, but she's definitely not one of my favorite characters. Um, I love her design. I love like her pelt. I'm very excited to do something similar for Leopard Star's design, um, but I just don't find Leopardfoot as a very enjoyable character. That's just, I don't know, that's just how I see her. Um, she's 100% like lesbian vibes. Uh, <laughs> um, definitely like cool mom type. Um, I was very excited for uh, Leopard Star's design because I haven't, tr or uh, sorry, Leopard Foot's design because I haven't tried something like this before. Like I haven't done a pelt like that before. Um, I also, I gave her blue eyes with amber, sort of, or like yellow or orange or whatever, um, at like the bottom, because I don't, how else would Tiger Star get his like bright amber eyes, you know? So this is Leopard Foot. Now we have the big bad man of, of him. <laughs> Um, it's Tiger Star the First. Um, I love the design that I gave for him. I do find him a very basic and generic uh, villain type, so he's definitely not my favorite character, let alone my favorite villain. Um, I definitely think he's very overrated. He's so overrated to the point where like the Aarons have to remake him 
into different characters that like have his like quote unquote legacy and i just i find him annoying almost <laughs> um i did give him like a main coon type look i know there aren't breeds in warrior cats besides like the kitty pets but even you know they don't know what breeds are um but i did give him as main coon looking as i could because i do see him as main coon looking and i tried to translate that over to hawk frost's hawk frost's design as well um i gave him spiky fur um and i made him very fluffy because i think a fluffy villain is kind of silly i did give him like thin slitted eyes and i definitely struggled on his colors um you can see me like trying to mess with a bunch of colors and i just could not find like some that fit um but in the end i found some that i like so yeah this is tiger star Now it is Sasha. Again, she's not like one of my favorite cats. <laughs> um, I, I find her kind of rude almost. I mean, she did just abandon her children and I don't find the very good mothering Sasha do better. <laughs> um, but she's definitely a lesbian. If I had drawn her with the color, I definitely would have made it the lesbian flag or something along the lines of that. Um, I haven't read her manga which I really should because I do own it. <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. Um, but uh, her design was very simple, very basic, color point cat, and very, very easy to draw. Um, and I did make her as pointy as I could because I do find like she has a decently spiky attitude. So I tried to implant that into her design. But yeah, this is Sasha. Now on to the kits, the three kits, Mothwing, Hawk Frost, and Tadpole. First I drew Mothwing. Um, I did have to, um, I did have to um, like work with her colors. I had to like, I couldn't find, I could not for my life, like find a good golden from a from Sasha and Tiger Star's designs that I had already made. Um, so I did have to like, make up her own palette that wasn't connected to her parents' palette at all. Um, I will admit, Mothwing is not my favorite cat. I know I'm gonna get hate, but I just find her rude, and I always have. It isn't just like a new thing, like since the past few arcs or whatever, I just, I've always found her rude and like overrated, but then I don't want to say that because like she's been through so much. Um, I feel so bad for her. Um, I did make her fluffy because I find her fluffy and I think the whole fandom does too. <laughs> um, I don't really like how I did her face, but I, uh, I don't know. I gave her whiskers um, and I gave her like an ombre tail um, and I did put the crow feathers into her pelt and I will talk about that theory in another video that Hopefully I'll get out soon, but I'm not sure exactly how soon. Um, but yeah, this is my mothwing design. The second to last cat that I drew for this video is Hawk Frost, and I love Hawk Frost. I find him like sort of like jock almost, but then he's like the the like he's in the group of like jocks but then he's the one on the side like he is i forgot the name but in heathers there's like the main guy like veronica's like boyfriend or whatever and he, like i see him as that um i do have a very like prominent voice like headcanon for him which isn't the guy from heathers but i do have a very strong like idea of what he sounds like um, I used Pine Star's first sketch for his sketch, um, and I feel like it just fit him. Maybe it's somehow like, ooh, you know, they looked similar when they were young. Uh, <laughs> um, he had a fairly easy design. I literally just like pretty much copied Tiger Star's design and put it onto him. Um, I did give him the Maine Coon pelt style, um, and I feel like him and Darktail would get along very well if they had the chance to meet. 
<laughs> um, but that's just another head cannon. So yeah, this is my hawk frost design. And last but certainly not least, we have Tadpole. He is tiny because he is baby. <laughs> um, I made him tiny. This is definitely not the last kitten you'll see like this. Um, I did make Snow Kit like this. Um, like this size and like the big eyes, uh, like weirdly shaped limbs because you know they haven't grown out in them yet. Um, I made him color point because you know why not? Sasha's a color point and it was a missed opportunity to not, to not make one of her kits um, color point. I gave him blue eyes because I know he has like amber or green or something in the actual whatever but I did give him blue eyes because Sasha has blue eyes and I thought hey that'd be a fun little visual quirk to foreshadow his watery death. Um, I gave him beans. I cannot draw paws. It's so hard to draw paws, especially in the way that I drew his, but somehow I was able to get little kitten paws and I gave him beans because I love drawing beans. Um, but it's a very quick design for tadpole, so this is my tadpole design. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this far, it means the world to me. Um, if you did like the video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you want to see from me next. Um, the next video will most likely be Golden Flowers Family from like Speckle Tail, and then I'll do like Lionheart, that way I can have him ready for um, his kits with Frostfur. And I already have Frostfur done, which I still need to make their kits, but I'm decently ahead of the game here, so um, stay tuned, there will be more content soon, but um, yep, uh, check out my Twitter. I post, if you want better quality images of the, of the art from here, check out my Twitter, link in the description. <laughs> yes, this is again a shameless plug. Um, so yeah, please go check that out. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.